In a recent study at Kayla High School, 120 students were asked to tell if they knew what was happening in this photograph. It's a photo of an ancient sport that started in England back in 1534, where farmers would chase fox off of their farms with their dogs as a way of pest control. And yet, of all students asked, only 20% could name what was happening in this photograph, full of horses and riders trotting down a road, surrounding a group of hounds. The sport being completed in this photograph is an ancient one known as fox hunting. As it was stated, the sport dates back hundreds of years ago to a time when farmers used their dogs to chase fox off their property. In fact, it didn't begin to show as an official sport until the 1800s. For a time, it was all in England, and a sport specifically for the higher class. But nowadays, anyone with access to a horse, the ability to ride, and who is willing to follow the rules can join a hunt. Interested? Well, here's what you need to know. The first thing you'll need is proper attire. This rider has the basics, but she needs a few more things. A stock tie. Traditionally worn as a safety precaution, it could be used to bandage someone in case of an emergency. A yellow vest, hung in a tree as a distress flag in case of an emergency. A black coat for warmth. Only riding officials or staff will wear red coats. Tall boots to protect the rider's legs and give them extra grip. And finally, a helmet and gloves for the added protection of the rider. These are usually black and very important to act as a barrier for the rider's hands between the reins and between the ground should the rider fall. It looks like this rider is ready to go. Now, when it comes to the horse, tack is much more lenient. Tack is the attire that the horse wears, and for the most part, it only needs to be English and the saddle pad needs to be white. Some riders put boots on their horse's legs to protect them. In the more formal hunts, horses' manes and their tails are braided. It looks like this pair is ready to ride. As a new member to the hunt, your rank would start as a common member or a field member, but with enough hard work and dedication, you could move through the ranks and get a higher position. The highest official in a hunt club is called the hunt master. He or she is the overall commander of the hunt and makes most of the decisions. The huntsman takes care of the hounds and makes sure that they are working well together as a pack. A whipper in is an assistant of the huntsman. They may perform duties such as returning lost hounds to the pack. The secretary assists the huntsmaster. All fees for riding are handled by this person. Field masters lead the smaller groups of riders. It is important to all who follow them to never pass their leader. Common members of the hunt are called the field, and they follow their field master. There are tons of different types of people that might join a hunt, and many with different riding capabilities. So, in order to accommodate for these many different levels of riding, there are three different groups that go different paces in fox hunting. The three groups are called fields. The slowest of the three are called the hilltoppers. They don't go over any jumps or gallop, and got their nickname from usually being atop the hills for a better view of the potential fox. The middle difficulty group is called second field. Here, they will go over jumps, but they won't go as fast as first field will. Finally, you have first field. You'll usually find the field master and huntsman here closely following the hounds. They'll pop over jumps like these and will usually go at higher speeds the majority of the hunt. Once a rider has decided what field to ride in that day, all they need is a little bit of information on what to do out there and what to expect. Out on the hunt field, you may hear a blank gunshot. 
The huntsman may use this to get a group of disobedient hounds attention. Horns are a very common sound out on the field. The huntsman is the one who uses these, and they are a good way to communicate over far spans of land. The biggest rule for common field riders is to never pass their field master, show them respect, and move out of their way if you see them coming. For the majority of the hunt, riders should be silent. It is a distraction to the field masters, for they need to listen to the hounds and officials nearby. Keep all this in mind, and you're ready for your first fox hunt, and to be part of an ancient tradition and lifetime sport. Happy hunting!